Hi, very good morning. I am Dr. Janak Patel, MD, General Physician. All my video lectures are mainly for educative purpose. Today, we will be discussing on one of the very another interesting topic in cardiovascular system that is peripheral signs in aortic regurgitation. This is quite frequently asked to you as a short note for fourth year students that is water hammer pulse or corrigan pulse or peripheral signs in aortic regurgitation and very very frequently also some of the signs can be asked in your oral exam and here is a one small slide which shows you some of the signs in aortic regurgitation that is light out sign Alfred D. Mousset sign, Quinkes sign, Corrigan pulse, Hill sign, Duresis, murmur, etc. We will be discussing separately in detail. So, we will be going through all those things. So, by definition, we know that when the aortic wall does not close during ventricular diastolic period, so blood will regurgitate from aorta into ventricle. We call that as aortic regurgitation or initially it was also labeled as aortic incompetence or aortic insufficiency. But now the terminology is aortic regurgitation only. So it is a regurgitation of blood from aorta into LV during left ventricular diastolic period because of incomplete closure of aortic wall. Now this slide shows you some of the signs like light out sign. So this is a malar flushing with each heartbeat. So the malar part of the face shows you flushing. Quinque sign is a blanching of capillary pulsation seen in a nail bed because of increase what we call as a wide pulse pressure. Alfred du Musset sign is a nodding of the head with each heartbeat. Corrigan pulse is a prominent carotid artery pulse. Hill sign is a difference between the blood pressure in upper extremity and lower extremity more than 20 millimeter of mercury. And this is a very very simple test which can help you to find out aortic regurgitation possibility as well as you can classify them into mild, moderate and severe. If the difference is 20 millimeter, it is mild, 40 millimeter, it is moderate and if the difference is more than 60 millimeter, it is called severe aortic regurgitation. And there is this murmur, is a diastolic murmur which is to and fro murmur heard over the femoral artery because of regurgitation of blood back towards the heart and that is typically described as a deruses murmur and if you put your finger on the femoral artery you get a very prominent femoral artery that is called pistol sort femoral so these are all good number of signs which are being described in severe aortic regurgitation we will be going through one by one and some of the signs can be easily demonstrable like Quinkes sign that is the capillary pulsation in a nail bed Corrigan sign which is a water hammer pulse or collapsing pulse or one word which was also utilized was Watson sign and that will be showing you in one clip how you demonstrate water hammer pulse normally the pulse in the forearm you cannot have but in a case of a severe aortic regurgitation you can get a pulsation in a forearm and it will be more prominent if you put your palm over the forearm and elevate the arm above the head and this is because of a wide pulse pressure then there is one more sign called is a bisphariance pulse which will be there if there is a severe aortic regurgitation or person has got aortic stenosis with aortic regurgitation 
Alfred de Musset sign is a sign which is because of increased blood flow into cranial cavity and that produces systolic head bobbing or we call T-tubation and also labeled as Alfred de Mutes sign. It is a nodding of the head because of increased blood flow. Sudden increase in the blood flow and sudden drop in the blood flow. And that is given a name Alfred de Musset sign. Muller sign, if you open the oral cavity and look at the uvula, during systole, you get a pulsation in a uvula. That is called Muller sign. Dancing carotid or Corrigan pulse is a prominent carotid pulsation seen in a neck. So, if you see a very prominent carotid pulsation, it is either called dancing carotid or Corrigan pulse. Baker sign is retinal artery pulsation. Rosenbeck sign is a liver pulsation. And Gerard sign is an enlarged spleen pulsation. Spleen is enlarged and you see pulsation. So these are some but very very difficult to elicit. But it has been described in the literature. Ladolfi sign is a pupil which may show you prominent pupillary reflex. Light out sign is a forehead blanching and flushing. Or it is also a malar flushing. So that is called lighthouse sign. Lincoln sign is a pulsatile popliteal artery. Sherman sign is a dorsalis pedis pulsation. Deruzes sign or deruzes pulse or deruzes murmur is a sign which is heard over the femoral artery. That is during diastole. It is because of retrograde flow in a femoral artery during a diastole. And it is described as a deruses sign. Trop sign or pistol shot femoral is a markedly prominent femoral artery pulsation which you feel like pistol shot. That's why it is described as a pistol shot femoral or trop sign. Hill sign is a difference between a blood pressure in a lower extremity and upper extremity. And if that difference is more than 20 millimeter mild, for more than 40 moderate and more than 60 millimeter severe aortic regurgitation. Always the blood pressure in lower extremity is more than upper extremity. And if this difference is more than 20 millimeter, it is suggestive of aortic regurgitation. There is one more sign called as a main sign. There is a drop of systolic blood pressure more than 15 millimeter with the arm elevation. And that is described as a main sign. Austin Flint murmur is a murmur which is heard over the aortic area due to flutter of a mitral valve because of aortic regurgitation. When the regurgitation flow falls over the anterior leaflet of mitral valve it produces a flutter and that produces a typical sound that is called Austin Flint murmur. Also there is another mechanism which has been explained because of uh, pushing of a aortic mitral valve array, sorry uh, anterior mitral valve leaflets it produces relative mitral stenosis and that produces a murmur which is a systolic murmur heard over the mitral area called Austin Burma. So these are some of the signs. Now I will be putting some slides where there are a lot of other signs you can go through. We already mentioned Baker's, Corrigan sign, Alfred de Musset, Hill sign, de Rouge's sign etc. At your leisure time you can go through. This is, these are the different signs. Muller sign, Lighthouse sign, Ladolf. Landolf fifth signs, Gerald sign, Rosenbeck sign, Corrigan sign, Twinke sign, Trop sign, or pistol shot femoral, Bisferian's pulse. These are all the signs we already discussed. At your leisure time, you can go through. They can be asked in your oral exams. So same explained here. Muller, Baker, Twinke's, Durizes sign, Trop signs, 
main sign hill sign rosenbeck gerald sign etc now this is a very nice video clip showing you a prominent carotid pulsation also described as corrigan pulse or dancing carotid sorry here In the cricket station, in you can see a very nice pulsation here. This is dancing carotid or corrigan pulse. But ejected into the aorta during the previous system as it flows back through an incompetent valve. The resultant large stroke volume, vigorous ejector, produces a rapidly rising carotid pulse which collapses in early rest. Now this is a very nice video clip which I got from YouTube. I am very much thankful to that person who has uploaded this video clip. Beautifully, good number of signs has been demonstrated here. And all this majority of the sign are because of a hyperdynamic circulation. This is last second medicine clip. This is queen case sign. That is capillary pulsation in a fingernail. You can see very nice capillary pulsation. Beautiful video clip. All these video clips are mainly for educative purpose. This is water hammer pulse called collapsing pulse and it is by a large stroke volume. How you demonstrate? You can see that. You put your palm over the forearm and elevate the arm above the head. You will get a very nice pulsation which normally you do not palpate. When you record the blood pressure, you will have a very wide pulse pressure. And pulse pressure is difference between systolic and diastolic. Good number of time the Pulse pressure is more than 100. Demuset sign is a nodding of the head because of the increased blood flow during systole. This will be the way the nodding of the head will take place. This is a very nice demonstration of pulsation in uvula. You can see with each heartbeat there is a pulsation in uvula. This is called Muller's sign. Beautiful. Corrigan sign is a visible carotid artery pulsation. You can see this Corrigan sign or it is called dancing carotid or Corrigan pulse. Drop sign is a pistol shot femoral which you will have to put the stethoscope over the femoral artery. And you get that booming sound. Deruze's sign is a to and fro systolic as well as diastolic murmur heard over the femoral artery. And mainly it is a retrograde murmur which is being heard. Health sign is a difference between systolic blood pressure of upper extremity and lower extremity. These are all the other signs. Baker sign we already discussed. Landau free sign, Rosenbeck sign. Then Gerald signs are also called as a sailor sign where you get a splenic pulsation with splenomegaly. So Quinquet sign, Muller sign, Corrigan sign, Deruze sign. Then Water Hammer pulse, Demuset sign. Pistol shot femoral as well as health sign etc. So very much thankful to last second medicine.
so i end my lecture here i am very much thankful to all of you for taking out time i know that your time is valuable and i appreciate you for spending some of the time with me i feel that this will be very very helpful to you in your oral exam as well as sometime a short note may be asked in your theory like peripheral science in aortic regurgitation and once in a while you will see some patient of aortic regurgitation in your everyday practice and if you know this peripheral sign you will be able to pick up quite easily so once again thank you very much for taking out time